another question on the enthalpy and entropy topic. So this one focuses on enthalpy. As always, the link to the question is in the description of the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is write the species present at each stage in the cycle. You'll notice I've written up the names of each stage. So in this box here, we're going to have the elements. So that's Fe solid and I2 solid. You'll have noticed that I've highlighted the gas state symbol here, and that's because this process is actually the atomization of the iodine. Remember, we're starting with the solid element. We're going to the gaseous atoms, so that's the atomization of I2. And therefore, this process here is the atomization of the Fe. So that means at that stage, we've got Fe gas plus 2I gas. Next thing we need to do is ionize the iron. So that's a two-stage process. So first ionization energy, then second. Whatever you do, don't forget that electron there. And then this stage here, we've got to ionize those two iodine atoms in the gas state. So that's the first electron affinity of the iodine which means we've got these species in this box here. Next part of the question, we've just got to give the definition for lattice enthalpy. So that's the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic lattice is formed from its gaseous ions. So for the calculation, I've gone back to the cycle. You'll have noticed I've um, included the enthalpy change values and these colour codes to uh, illustrate the two different routes. So I'll just talk about the uh, enthalpy change values first. So this one here, it's important that that one gets doubled because atomization is all about the production of one mole of gaseous atoms. Well, you can see there's two in the cycle, so we need to double that one. And the electron affinity is all about the production of one mole of gaseous one minus ions. And again, you can see we've got two moles of those. So applying Hess's law to the cycle, if we start at the elements, finish at the solid ionic lattice, there's two ways to get there. You can go this very simple way, just the enthalpy change of formation, or you can go all the way around the outside of the cycle. So that's basically the sum of all the blue roots. And then all we need to do is solve for x. So we'll put the numbers in and rearranging for x, we get minus 2473 kilojoules per mole. 